All right, y'all, we're gonna try a new meal today. I got this recipe from Kevin Meyer. So first item you need is Sweet Baby Ray's. So we're gonna pour some in this dish. I'll, I'll show you how I got my barbecue sauce in there. Next, you'll need a can of crushed pineapples and pineapple juice. Do not drain the juice because you're gonna need it for this. There we go, I'm gonna mix that around. Next, you'll need some brown sugar. As y'all know, some of the stores are running low on items, so I got the closest thing to brown sugar that I could get. We don't need that much sugar, no way, being diabetic. So I'm gonna pour this in there. So we got the brown sugar in there. Next, I'm going to add my chicken. So this is what it looks like right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my spoon and just mix it all around and pretty much get the idea. I've got my oven preheated on 350 and we're gonna let this bake for an hour. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cover it or anything. I'm just gonna let it let it bake and do what it does. Let's see. Let's see, get it all in there really, really good. I know it smells good. I like a little onion powder on my stuff. So I'm gonna add a little onion powder and a little garlic powder in here. And that's all. We're gonna throw this in the oven. All right, y'all, this is how it turned out. And I've already done had a sample. It tastes really, really good. And I am going to do a review right here on film. Thank you, Kevin and Miss Tracy, for the recipe. All righty, y'all. Here we go for the taste test. I know it's hot. Here we go. I hate it when the refrigerator comes on. Here we go. Boy, you did that. You can also use the same ingredients, but instead of chicken, use ham. I'm get a little dab of this little roll right here. Mmm. Fantastic. Y'all go over there and check out Kevin Myers. He also puts out some very, very great recipes. And some of us get tired of eating the same stuff over and over again. So it doesn't hurt to try something new every now and then. You might just like it. And don't forget, if you have kids, why not set up a cooking playlist so when they get of age, and get out on their own they can remember oh yeah mom used to make this certain dish that i liked and they had that playlist that they can go back and look back on and say oh this is how mom made that recipe